Giaro Boats manufactures a popular recreational vessel called the Revolution. To plan for expanded production and increased labor costs, the company carefully tracks current costs and income. The fixed cost to produce this boat is $108,000, and the marginal costs are $28,000 per boat. Part A is asking us to create an average cost function. So first remember it's important that we define our variables. So in this case, we're looking at X being the number of boats produced. Now we're asked to write the average cost function. And remember that the average cost function, I'm just jotting this down right here so that you can see it, and I'll erase it in just a second. It's found by finding the total cost function and then dividing it by the number of items that you're producing. So basically, we know we're going to have an average cost function that'll be some function all divided by the number of boats that we're making. So now we just need to write our cost function. And you'll notice there's two dollar amounts given to us in this problem. It says we have fixed costs of 108,000. So we're going to play those amounts or this amount one time. And then the marginal costs, which are the costs that you're paying per boat, of 28,000. So since we only pay the fixed cost once, that would be 108,000. Plus, then we'll pay the 28,000 for every single boat we produce. So that would be 28,000 times the number of boats that we make. So 28,000 X. And then the whole thing divided by X will be our average cost function. Part B, how many boats must be produced in order for the average cost per boat to be 30,000? So here we're given the average cost and we're looking to solve for how many boats. In other words, we're solving for X given a C value. So with substitution here, we see then that we'll just substitute that 30,000 in for our average cost. So 30,000 is equal to 108,000. Again, those were the fixed costs plus the amount it cost us to produce um, each boat, our marginal cost, all divided by x. And so we're looking to solve this equation for x. So since we have division on the right-hand side here, we need to undo our division by x, so we will multiply the right side by x, which requires me, of course, to multiply the left side by x as well, so that the x's divide out. And this will give us 30,000. x is equal to 108,000 plus 28,000x. And then we'll go ahead and subtract the 28,000. So 30,000x minus 28,000x will give us 2,000x is equal to 108,000. And then we'll divide by 2,000. So x is equal to 54. But remember, units are important. So this is not $54, but rather this is 54 boats. In other words, if this company produces 54 boats, then the average cost per boat will be $30,000. Part C, what is the significance of the horizontal asymptote in this problem? So we have to come up here to our average cost function, and we need to notice a few things. Uh, first of all, the type of function that this is. So remember, we have a polynomial function in the numerator, because this is x raised to the first power, as well as a polynomial in the denominator. So because this is a polynomial divided by another polynomial, the type of function we're looking at, or analyzing here, is a rational function. And rational functions are characterized by asymptotes. So in this case, the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator. So we'll be dividing our leading coefficients to determine the horizontal asymptote. Now don't be fooled, the 108,000 is first, but that's not the leading coefficient, that's the constant. So in this case, your leading coefficient is actually the 28,000. It's the coefficient of x for the numerator, and in the denominator, the leading coefficient is a 1. So 28,000 divided by 1 tells us that the horizontal asymptote in this case, I'll write HA for horizontal asymptote, is the horizontal line y equals 28,000. 
But part C is not asking you what the horizontal asymptote is, but it's asking you for the significance of the horizontal asymptote. So we need to write a sentence about this number, 28,000, and what it means in the context of this situation. In other words, we're producing boats, and what does this, this 28,000 mean? And some people who are visual might want to take a look at a graph. If you did want to put this in your graphing calculator, it would require you to adjust your window considerably. Now remember, since x is the number of boats, you know, over here in this region, negative boats really doesn't, uh, doesn't make sense. So I, I won't even bother with the left-hand side of this graph. But if you were to look at the right-hand side of the graph, and again, adjusting your window because the y values will have to be larger than 28,000, you'll see that you have the horizontal asymptote here, Again, this was the horizontal asymptote, y equals 28,000. And then your graph, it looks like, decreases and then approaches that horizontal asymptote. This is at least what the right-hand branch of the graph looks like. And so remember, my y values here are the average costs. So essentially, if you can imagine, as we produce more boats, my average cost here is decreasing, but it doesn't decrease forever. It decreases and it approaches 28,000, and that's $28,000. In other words, as we produce more boats, as I move here to the right side, and I cruise along on the right-hand side, moving to the right, as I produce more boats, my average cost will never be below $28,000 per boat. So as more boats are produced, the average cost per boat decreases, but will never be lower than $28,000 per boat. So that's the significance of our horizontal asymptote in this situation.